Welcome back folks, my name's Anthony Valentine the Camper Nerd. I'm going to be making my last video here and now. Would you believe this weather that we're having in the United Kingdom? We've stopped raining and now today the wind has picked up crazy and my microphone is going to struggle. So I'm going to uh, do most of my conversation with on the inside. So I'll we'll just talk you around the outside first. So this one is a 97. It is an Autocruise Starfire. It's had eight owners. The last owner bought it off a family. It was a deceased person. He'd had it a very long time. As we go through the paperwork trail, he'd had it a long time. Then he passed away and it passed into two family members in quick succession. So it ended up having eight owners instead of five owners. Anyway, there you go. It is 97, so it's 27 years young. Will you be owner number nine? It's only done 30. So I've had that repaired at the gearbox place and the brakes were pulling. So I took it in for a pre-MOT, check it all over and we've replaced a lot. Front brakes, pads and discs, uh, rear shoes, cylinders, a couple of brake pipes and hey presto it's gone through the MOT with no advisories so it's all good. I'll quickly show you around the outside. So on the front just being fussy, a little mark on the bonnet here. Again, my touch up or polish that a little bit better. It is 27 years old and there's clearly evidence of a previous amateur repair or paint job there that they've tried to blend in and it's not quite good enough. Obviously it is of the age and it's better than average for the year but I am quite particular on my a little bit of surface cracking there. Mains, inlet, and the only thing on the bodywork, somehow, I don't know it, whether it's been heat damaged, it's just what I call blown there. So it's just a little bubble there, but there's no damp, there's no leak, there's nothing there. Apparently, that's been on for a long time. So I have seen that on these in the past, but again, it's just a little bit of a bubble there. But that's about it, really. Yeah, it's looking. Drive. We'll get Dennis the drone up, we'll go for a drive and I'll take you inside. Okay. So it's the 1.9 turbo diesel. Okay, let's go for a drive and we'll get Dennis the drone up in the air.
let's have a little drive in this uh, 1997 Auto Cruise. Just the heater light, wait for the heater light to go out while I'm putting seat belts on. Heater light's gone out. She starts first time. Just wait for the traffic to clear. Yes, this is the 1.9 turbo diesel, much trusted power plant. Again, I've said it many a time before, you won't be winning any races, but it does the job. I was doing 60, 65 all the way back from the northeast of England. I could be 200 miles driving it back. All camper vans seem to have, in my opinion, a happy speed. This one is 55 to 60, so you would cruise all day long between 55 and 60 on the motorway. So it's a five speed manual, happy to report all the gears are fine, no crunches, the clutch operation is fine. So the brakes are lovely now, so it's only done 30,000 miles. Eight owners, but as I've said previously, the previous owners, the old man had had it for a very long time and dry stored it, hence the condition of the outside and the inside. Uh, unfortunately passed away and passed it through the family and two people in the family had to have probate and passed it through and the last guy reported off them. So the last four owners are equivalent of many years. It just drives lovely. The only thing that I found out when I got it back was uh, the brakes were fluctuating. So the first thing I opened it was taking it to the garage and the MLT man inspects it. Um, he goes it once over and then gives me a little list of jobs that we may or may not want to carry out. On this occasion it was brakes all round, uh, centre section of the exhaust that goes from left to right in the middle. So that's been replaced and now she's lovely. So yeah, we're just accelerating through the gears now. Let's step inside the moment you've been waiting for after that little drive and here we go now this is going to be hard to explain on a video this is just absolutely wonderful i've not had a vehicle of this age in this condition for a long time it's quite hard to describe how on earth as I say, it was in a family for a long, long time and then passed through a couple of family members after the owner deceased. So it has been molly coddled and looked after. This is just, it did have seat covers on the front seats, the above the cab. There's the table. The table's actually got a fixed position in the wardrobe with levers here. But the wardrobe's full, it's got extra over cushions, foil mats. For some reason, the last owners, perhaps they've had them cleaned, I bet they've sent them off to the dry cleaners. So that will be the curtains for the front, or you can just simply use the foil overs. Yeah, this is just absolutely, I'm not quite sure what that is. I'll try and get the answer off my habitation guy. It looks like some aftermarket air conditioning system. You would think it's making a noise. It's actually blowing out of here. 
I'll just leave that on for a second and see what happens. I think that's a, an air conditioner. Yeah, this just the cupboards inside. There's not a mark anywhere. So I think you're getting the idea. It's got mats over the over mats, everything, even the cupboards and the carpets inside under the seats and the bed are spotless. There's an over mat over the over mat. These pull together, two levers here, pull together very straightforward. That creates just under seven foot tall bed and just over four foot wide. <coughs> Pardon me, the last owner's left your TV. Uh, I don't guarantee TVs are accessories, so if it works, it's a Brucey bonus. At the very worst, you've got the bracket to get yourself a new one. All important, wine cabinet. Yeah, everything's just lovely. There's not a mark on it anywhere. Well, let's see what's happening with this air conditioning. So we've got zero there. No, what, what do we have water for? Low fan, high fan. I think that is actually making an effect. That is definitely freezing up. So would you believe it's got cap air conditioning? Large cupboard underneath the cutlery drawer. And when I said spotless, I'm not exaggerating. The sink, the cooker. All the blinds are perfect. Let's move those sink over there, the taps. Three-way fridge all working, of course, on 12 volt when you're driving mains, when you're on hookup or gas, if you're wild camping. Oven, again, it doesn't look like it's ever been used. Spotless. Totally and utterly spotless is the only way to describe this vehicle. Nothing looks like it's been used inside. Going in. The only thing I thought on there was, you know, me and my buttons and bezels. That was showing some wear, so I put your new button and bezel on there. Um, so the only thing to mention, again, everything is spotless. The toilet's been sanitised. Last owner has left you some various cleaning chemicals or even a toilet roll. Well, that sums it up. He's had his toilet roll in a bag. Now, this pulls out as you shower. Now you've got a little crack here and a little stain here. I don't know whether that would come out actually. It looks like it might. Anyway, you've got a little stain there and a little crack there. So you could fill that in with some filler or sealer. But the last owner, which he never got around to, was so particular, he got the new sink. So there is the new one to fit if the new owner wants to bother doing that. You've got some levelling ramps. You've got even the fitted carpet under the shower tray and the shower trays. There's no cracks. Everything is just as it should be. Lovely large vanity mirror, towel, rail. Yeah, this is just super, super special, folks. There's the place for the awning crank handle. Even as both front seat swivel so this has had eight owners will you make it number nine as i say it's passed through the three family members in quick succession so it's had five owners really um the it's thin on the service history we've got various bits and bobs i'm told off the guy who had it he was fanatical and was doing it himself but that's just hearsay as we speak so what i've done for you is had a full engine service and i've even had the timing belt changed that protects us both 32,000 miles. So, as I say, when we uh, got it in, we I drove it back and the brakes were pulling to one side, put it on the ramp, and it's been stood for a while and not had the... Uh, that's what happens if with low mileage, so it was better to just replace it all. So you've had pads and discs at the front, shoes and cylinders at the rear, a couple of brake pipes... And there was a tyre and something else, a CV boot. Um, yeah, and that's why it's glided through the MOT now. So it's ship shape for the new owner. It's had the habitation service. So everything is set up. So on sale with no reserve. As I say, I'll be going on holiday. I think it's Monday, Monday, the, I can't remember. It's the 27th, the 29th. So after the auction ends, you've got about five days 
if you want to take the delivery option. If not, you can collect it. Uh, if you're paying full, you can collect it while I'm away on holiday from L48JG. But included in the winning price, I'm happy to deliver it anywhere in the country. Just a £500 deposit, even that's returnable if you're not satisfied. And then I'll get the train back. All we ask is for a voluntary £100 deposit. Um, delivery and that will cover me fuel and train fur back maybe even a sandwich if I'm lucky yeah so uh, that's about it I can't say any more about this particular model it is absolutely lovely so you've got the hot and cold water you've got the shower you've got all the bits and bobs you've got various main sockets 12 volt supply and um, before collection or delivery, I will even do you, if you're on WhatsApp, I'll do you a personalised WhatsApp video and I will demonstrate how all the things work. So the leisure panel, how you switch off in the battery, the fuses, I'll demonstrate how to operate the fridge safely, the oven and the water on gas and electric. So to sum up, this is this 1997 auto cruise starfire lovely small two berth starter motor home on reserve on sale with no reserve and after the auction end you'll have about five days and i'm happy to deliver it anywhere in the united kingdom thanks for watching folks and i'll catch you on that next video i'll try and get a couple of auctions set up on maybe a couple of the vws while i'm away on holiday Good luck and I'll catch you on that next video.